just context on insurance then, like why I think it's interesting in the way that that stuff was interesting a few years back. Um, interesting normally means boring, seemingly not interesting, and massively inefficient. Okay? That's like the fundamental kind of idea of what is a contrarian investment, if you, if you put sort of like use the buzzword for it. You're basically looking for something which is actually really broken, but which people don't recognize as worth fixing yet. Uh, that's sort of, I think, what you're going for. So I just thought I'd explain my view on why insurance is at that stage. Um, based on no real learning, just like we haven't won at it yet, whatever, we're just playing around there, just what have we learned while playing. So I did a, did a bit of maths, uh, which is kind of an interesting, really dumb way for me to understand it. So let's say you are paying 100 rand a month for a funeral plan, okay? Um, Intuitively, if you think about insurance, you know, you're paying some money so that if some bad stuff happens, that money plus kind of other people's money comes to you. Okay, you're like buying insurance against some risk. That's like the fundamental thing. So you're kind of going, okay, cool, my money is being used to cover that risk. Okay, so to give you an idea on the numbers, in funeral cover, from the best I can see, is the average in South Africa is less than a quarter of your money is actually used to cover the risk. So you've been idea if you buy a lottery ticket, about half of your money is used to actually pay out. So like the lottery is double the investment value of buying insurance. Okay, so incredibly inefficient. Because um, what you're hoping for in an efficient market is most of your money is used for the thing you're buying. Um, and a little bit is used to kind of provide the service, market to you, all of that. And insurance, very often, it's completely the flip. Okay, so that is quite interesting. Because you're kind of going, shit, that cannot, like, someone is going to fix this problem. And if you go, okay, how much money is being spent on insurance? Three quarters, like, let's say in funeral cover, three quarters of it is wasted. That is quite a lot of money that someone is burning somewhere. And, like, you should fix that, because uh, that's valuable. So this is my really, really dumb way of thinking about it. The numbers differ for the different types of insurance and the models. Alistair's got actual, a better explanation of the value chain. So when he's explaining value chain, kind of keep this thing in mind. It's huge wastage everywhere for strange reasons. So my stupid understanding of where it goes is roughly it's two things. Okay. Most of it just gets burnt on inefficient stuff. So it's inefficient systems or processes or manual admin. There's a lot of manual paperwork in this game. Um, that you can fix with code quite easily. That's like the great thing with software. It's proven to be really, really good at fixing that. The other place that a lot of money goes is just getting the product to the user. So if you think about it uh, sort of by analogy as buying something from like Take A Lot uh, or Amazon, this is very, very far from that store. Most of it is sold by a person. Um, getting the money from the user is inefficient. All of that stuff eats, eats uh, kind of efficiency and it's all kind of sitting on the distribution side, which once again software is pretty good at fixing. Like online stuff, digital stuff is a really, really good way to fix distribution. So we're kind of going, okay, cool. Huge money wasted and efficiencies in terms of admin, efficiencies in terms of distribution of opening software can provide. So it seems likely that in three years from now, the game will look very, very different. There's just too much money at stake that no one's going to make it better. It's just like strong demand from users. Something like funeral cover is super valuable for people. Because you like something that happens to you you leave your family with a huge problem if you don't have it. So even if the product is insanely inefficient, people still buy it. So there's a like huge room for improvement there, huge demand. So that's sort of the insurance overview of why.